making a Pinterest-inspired necklace in honor of Black History Month. Throughout history, Africans have used different organic materials that were readily available and suitable in their region to create jewelry. Jewelry may indicate an individual's power, wealth, and of course, their standing in society. So, the supplies used for this necklace include So the way to make this beautiful necklace is to take a paper plate and make a template. You want to cut out the center and an opening for the neck. The feathers are from Dollar Tree and you will gather the ones you want to use for this project. And you will remove them from the packaging and take the feathers off the wire. Now, this may be a little challenging, but it's doable. The feathers may create a little bit of static, but if you use a damp paper towel or a wet wipe to wipe your hands, that should take care of the issues. After you have cut the felt, you need to start, start hot gluing your feathers on the felt, starting at the bottom and then moving towards the neck until it's complete and you have them exactly like you want them. You can also lay them out first to see how they will be arranged and then you can start gluing. Either way is fine. Then the second part, after you have the feathers glued on, you will start laying your flat shells down the same way. You will start at the bottom and move toward the top until both sides are covered. Now you will use the flat shells or that have a flat bottom to them. You will do this on one row and then you will come again and you will do a second row. You can do a third row if you like, but I decided that I would use a different type of shell. And you, if you look at pictures of these necklaces, you will notice that many types of shells and many types of beads have been used. So I decided to use the spiral shaped shells in the same manner. So I started at the bottom and went to the top. Uh, lastly, I started laying some gray silver beads in between the spiral shaped shells until that was complete. And these were half shells or half beads, I should say, that were glued on the necklace. Now you will need to make a stand for the necklace. So I took one wooden cube and I drilled a hole in the center for the doll to fit inside. I filled the with glue and I twisted the dowel until it was secure in the opening. And then I took the short dowel, which was six inch, and took some wood glue and made sure it was centered and glued that on top of the center dowel. I let that dry overnight and then I came back. So now for the closure. Dollar Tree has faux leather ribbon. So I took 12 inch piece of black faux leather ribbon, doubled it and glued two pieces together. I let them dry securely. So then I put it on the holder that I had made and I just kind of wrapped it around the six inch piece and tied it beautiful, it is chic, and it can be displayed in your home all year long. So if you would like to make this, you know, go ahead and do it. Let me see what you came up with and tag me.
If you like what you have seen today, please like, comment, save, and subscribe. In addition, you can follow me on Instagram at Z9Designs. Thank you. Have a lovely day.